What would you think of having access to in-cylinder pressure technology for a hundred bucks rather than a thousand? The Rotkey PS16 pressure transducer. First impressions, it's pretty hefty, all metal construction. XLR connector at one end, standard BNC at the other. And in between, they've used microphone cable, which is shielded. OFC stands for oxygen free copper for extra low noise. You don't have to worry about keeping a lithium battery charged or having to worry about replacing a 9 volt battery, nor does it need an external 5 volt reference. The PS16 powers directly off the vehicle's battery. You have the option of going with this flexible hose connector or these rigid type. The clearance volume in the cylinder when the piston is at top dead center is very small. Test equipment adds to that volume, dilutes it. The idea behind these rigid connectors is to keep that dilution to a minimum. I've got the PS16 installed in cylinder number 3 in this 2.5 liter Ford engine. I was able to get away with one of the rigid connectors, but they can be stacked when you need longer reach. The PS16 can be used on any oscilloscope. That includes the Handtech and low toe budget oscilloscope that I feature on the channel and that large user base of PicoScope. Here, uh, this might be helpful in setting up your custom probes. The PS16 at atmosphere will output 294 millivolts. That's your offset. And one volt is equal to 3.4 bars. That's your multiplier. To make the point that the PS16 can be used with any generic oscilloscope, I'll be using it with the HS402 Pro that was built here on this channel. It is supported by the HScope app that can be found on the Google Play Store. And a couple of months back, I worked with Martin and the custom probes for the PS16, both in BAR and PSI, are already to be found on the database. With the auto offset switch on in HScope, when the probe is first selected, a zero level calibration takes place. I love that feature. And you end up with a rock solid zero PSI G to start off from. This is a very clean waveform, guys. No filters applied here. This is the raw signal. And with the 720 degree overlay applied, we'd have no problems seeing when the valves open and close. The PS16 is also a absolute pressure sensor. So it has no problem reading vacuum here at the intake, a well-defined expansion pocket as well. With the help of this 720 degree overlay and the clarity of that waveform, there's no problems in being able to determine when the valves open and when they close. Notice how this engine is sitting really pretty here on the exhaust stroke, right near atmosphere. And I think that this is one area where this PS16 shines. Let me explain. Those overpriced transducers, they're very coarse. They squeeze their entire working range in a few hundred millivolts. Like one millivolt equals one PSI. So when you're making that critical call on a exhaust restriction and that three or four PSI can make all the difference, it's not very reassuring that that is only underpinned by three or four millivolts. The Rotkey PS16, on the other hand, spreads its entire working range over five volts. And I do the math so that you don't have to. And that means that it equates to about 20 millivolts is equal to one PSI. So I feel a lot more comfortable with the, an exhaust restriction call if I know that I have 20 times more voltage underpinning it. A third reason we might reach for a PS16 pressure transducer is to have it as one of the inputs in something called scripts. 
So if you pair that transducer with Rotkey's MT Pro oscilloscope and their software, they're big on running something called scripts where they take these inputs, they churn out uh, performance results uh, based on that. It's a very sophisticated approach. Uh, hasn't caught on in North America. I'm not up to speed on it either, but uh, throughout other parts of the world, Europe and South America, there's an enthusiastic following to scripts. Full disclosure guys, Rotkey has supplied the product to the channel. I receive no financial compensation. Take care guys.